sciatic nerve, lumbar problems. I get people with this panic that say, I got the sciatica. And I thought, well, God, yeah, I got two sciatic nerves. One goes down the right, one goes down the left. What's your problem? So let's go over this. Okay, let's just fix it. You figure the sciatic nerve has five origins. It comes out of the low back and the sacrum. It goes down the back of the leg, okay? And it's the largest nerve in your body. It's the size of your index finger in diameter. And it's so tough. When I was teaching human dissection anatomy, this, this might gross you out a little bit, but I could grab the sciatic nerve. You could lift the whole body by this. It was amazing. It's so strong. Now, the tough part is the sciatic nerve only comes or, or has an error or gives a symptom for a reason. Now, this is hugely important because when you look at this, the structure of the body is it's got a curve on the side. Now, when you sit, the nerve come out of things called IVFs and or the, their nerve holes, the intervertebral foramen. That's where the nerves come out. Now watch what happens when you sit. Watch what happens to those nerve holes. See how they get larger? So when you're sitting, you're actually reversing the disc. Here, let me do that again. The discs in a normal low back or lumbar spine are narrow at the back, wide at the front. When you sit, you're reversing those discs. This also happens when you're laying on your back and you bend your legs. It opens up the nerve hole so it feels good, but you're reversing the discs. This is why the worst thing you can do to alleviate pain is to lay on your back and bend both legs. That's horrible. Now, the problem is a doctor, orthopedic surgeon or whatnot, is going to go in and say, yes, you've got a swollen disc or a bulging disc or a herniated disc. Let me tell you, discs do not operate in an isolated environment. There's always going to be a secondary cause, either, either an unstable pelvis, or some type of subluxation patterns in the upper back. Also too, with 50% of low back issues, you're gonna have a problem with the neck, loss of curve or forward head carriage. What I'm telling you is that the sciatic nerve does not just involve the low back and an unstable pelvis. Look for the cause. Now this is gonna freak you out. Discs are alive. What? Everybody ran screaming? Yes, discs are alive. That means they can regenerate. Discs get their nutrients through imbibition or through movement. So what happens, this is how disc generation occurs. Pinched nerve that causes the intrinsic muscles of the spine to tighten up. And what that does, that limits motion. Limiting motion causes the nutrients to not go to that disc. What does that have to do? That disc gets smaller, pinches the nerve. Now, in crazy world, you're going to go get a non steroidal anti-inflammatory, like an Advil, Motrin, Aleve. Now, what those drugs do, they destroy the building block of cartilage or of the ligaments or the disc. So it inhibits proteoglycan production that destroys the disc. So when the orthopedic surgeons say discs don't regenerate, no kidding they don't because their primary therapy destroys the disc. It destroys the building blocks of it. I've had orthopedic surgeons, and one guy, he had a reverse curve in his neck. That's right, this is normal. His was like this, his hands were going numb. And I had to explain to him, yeah, discs are alive, man. They regenerate, we'll be able to get your hands working. We just have to cause inflammation at the level of the disc. He looked at me, cause inflammation? Yeah, that's how the body regenerates. So this is what you do for a sciatic problem. First, get to a corrective chiropractor that finds out what caused the disc to go out. Reposition the disc, get the nutrients going to that disc, and watch it regenerate. Fix the cause, realize that your body can heal, and your body can regenerate. Don't make sciatica, okay, like a big deal, okay? It's a pinched nerve. This also goes with peripheral neuropathy. I got that peripheral neuropathy. That, again, in English means pinched nerve. Unpinch it. Drugs don't unpinch things. Real corrective care does. Click on the link below. You're going to see our lumbar, our spine health. You're going to see how to regenerate a disc. You're going to see our techniques on how to regenerate a disc. Uh, if, if your doctor doesn't understand that, fire the doctor and get one that understands disc can regenerate.